today, yes. It was filed yesterday. Okay, if you Bell can bring number five. Before the list is over. Yes, yes. Majum. Majum. Because list gets over at the time of mention. <laughs> <laughs> My lot uh, in view of it. <laughs> Majum. Wait, bless your Lord. Yes. Uh, Lord Shiva, I'm representing the state here. Uh, mm -hmm. Item number four. Item number four. Uh, let this matter become up after a week. On the prayer of Learned State Council after a week. Okay. May please, Lord Chief. My Lord, I beg to mention item number seven. Let this matter be listed on the 19th of this month, my Lord. 19th? Yes. You are for? I am for the petitioner. Petitioner, 19th. Much obliged. Uh, no, please, Lord Chief. Uh, Lord Chief, I beg to mention item number three. Three. Yes, contempt. Yet the matter is before the uh, manpower rationalization committee. Mm. And after its recommendation, only the matter will be put up to the cabinet mm. for its approval. Mm. So, Lordship, uh, can you do it four weeks' time, Your Lordship? Okay. Have you informed us? Yes, that? I have informed, but uh, he's in the uh, court one. Okay, you have informed, no? Yes, yes, Lordship. Okay. So, after? Four weeks, Your Lordship. After four weeks. Much on the prayer of the uh, V. Uh, Shokiri, yes. Learned Council for the Respondents. Yes, Lordship. May it please your lordship, I beg to mention item number 26. Lordship, I pray this matter come up after two weeks. Weeks. Yes. You are for petitioner? Yes. Petitioner, two weeks. Your lordship, I have similar prayer for item number 13. One, three. Yes. Petitioner, here also? Yes. Uh, Lordship, uh, item number 20, on behalf of Nancy Lotha. Lordship, uh, they have uh, received the affidavit on behalf of the government. Petitioner to file reply affidavit. Yes. When? After four weeks. Four weeks. Much of it. Yes. May please your Lordship. Lordship, I beg to mention item number two. Lordship, here the pleadings are completed. So if this matter can come up after two weeks, Lordship. Why not today? Uh, if pleadings are complete. <laughs> Lordship. Uh... You are for a petitioner? Lordship. Petitioner, two weeks. Yes. May I please, Your Lordship? Mm. Lordship, I beg to mention item number 14, Lordship. One, four. Lordship, if three weeks' time may be granted to me, Lordship, to file my counter. Counter by state, three weeks. Lordship, I have similar prayer for item number 18. 18. Lordship. Yes. Uh, Lordship, let this be the last chance. Last chance? Yes, 23. We are giving adjournment to everybody. Mm -hmm. On next date, we'll say it last okay. 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 Lordship. Lordship, there's an interim. Interim order pass earlier shall continue till the next date of listing. Yes. Thank you. Lordship, I also beg to mention item number 23, Lordship. 20? 23. Yes. On behalf of Zimo, Lordship. On behalf of? Zimo, me. Okay. Zimo, me. If this for respondent? Lordship. Okay. For respondent, when? I'll for respondent number two, Lordship. After two weeks, Lordship. After two weeks. Your Lordship, uh, in this case, Your Lordship, the Living Council and his associates, Your Lordship, we are withdrawing our power, Your Lordship. And accordingly, we have sent a letter to the petitioner. So if I may be allowed to place the letter that was sent to the petitioner. This item number 23? Yes, Your Lordship. Okay, Tarliko. The Learned Council for the petitioner submits that the Learned Councils have withdrawn from the breach accordingly. Yes, Your Lordship. You want to intimate or you have already intimated? We have already intimated the, the petitioner, the, Petitioner, uh, the Learned Council has already intimated such fact to the petitioner by their communication dated 18 3, 2024. If 18, I may be allowed to place before you, uh, 18 3, 2023. No, no, not that this way. Uh, the Learned Council is permitted to uh, file the same before the registry and thereafter registry to put a note in this regard after awaiting for four weeks. In the meantime, the petitioner may engage some other councils. Okay, list after four weeks. Your Lordship, I beg to mention item number 24 and 25. 24, 25. For yes, petitioner? Yes, for the petitioner. Your Lordship, I pray this matter be listed after two weeks. After two weeks. 
in the leadership, I also beg to mention item number five and six. For petition, no? Yes, your lordship. When? Your lordship, it may kindly be listed next week, your lordship, on Tuesday as a fixed item. Why? Why not today? Your lordship, uh, the, the living council, he has some personal difficulty today, so. Is it, uh, is, is it sure that we, we, we can decide on Tuesday this matter? If you are sure, we can pass a judgment or dispose it up, we'll decide, we'll fix, otherwise not. Okay, then your lordship, uh, maybe after a week, your lordship. After a week. Otherwise, you'll not fix. No. No. After a week. Oblige, lordship. Because Monday, Tuesday, if we can dis decide then, otherwise, I'm here till Wednesday. Uh, unnecessarily listing, there will be no meaning again for an adjournment. If effective, we can decide on, then we'll decide. Okay, next case. Yes. Mr. Lordship. Mm. Lordship, I beg to mention item number 17, Lordship, on behalf of Pichano. Yes. If three weeks' time may be granted to me, Lordship. Uh, this is for the respondents? Lordship. Okay, respondents, three weeks to file reply. Mm -hmm. To reply. To file my counter, Lordship. Two by two counter, file counter. Any uh, interim? No. No. Okay. Lordship, I have similar prayer for item number 12, Lordship. 12. Lordship, on behalf of Abitoli, Lordship. Okay, we'll just say for respondents, okay? Or to counter item 12, respondent state, huh? Yes. May I please, Lordship? Yes. Lordship, I beg to mention item number one, Lordship, on behalf of Fiji Mommy, Lordship. Mm. If two weeks' time may be granted to me, Lordship. For respondent? Lordship. Respondent, three weeks to do what? Replay counter. Lordship, two weeks. Your Honor, uh, this matter has been pending for three and a half years now. And they have not filed even a single reply. Okay. Uh, Honor, since this matter is pending since 2020 and no affidavit has been filed, mm -hmm. on the next date fix, in the, in, if no affidavit, such affidavit is filed, this court may proceed on the basis of materials available on record. Mm -hmm. Yes. Much of that, Lordship. You file it since 2020. Yes. Lordship. Your Lordship. Your Lordship, I'm preparing for the state and item number 10, Your Lordship. Item Here, number 10? Yes, Your Lordship. Yes. Here, I'm here to receive instructions. So, only three weeks for your Lordship. Uh, lordship, let this be the last opportunity. This is item 10? Yes, yes my Lordship. What is the issue? Mm -hmm. This is regarding the non payment of salary of the petitioner. Okay. Uh, the Learned State Council prays for further two weeks' time. Three weeks, because three, your Lordship, I'm here to receive instructions. Three weeks' time to file a fee defeat as she has not yet received instructions. Mm -hmm. First of all. This matter relates to non-payment of salary and therefore it requires an early disposal. In that view of the matter, let the state invariably file their affidavit before the next date fix. Uh, if no such affidavit is filed, the court may proceed on the basis of material available on record, list after four weeks. Just Lord file it four weeks. We are giving yes, you four weeks. Your Lordship, your Lordship I also like to mention item 11, your Lordship. Yes. Here, three weeks time may be granted to file counter, your Lordship. Three weeks. Three weeks to government, yes. Any objection? I have to object. Your Lordship, in item 19. Three weeks to the state, huh? If we did. Item? Item 19, your Lordship. Here, here I'm yet to receive instructions. Yes, wish for the petitioner. Have you taken consent? Yes. Three weeks to file a uh, counter by the state. 19. You're yes. seeking three weeks. Yes, Roche. Oblige. Just apologize for coming again. In regard to item number one, I pray that the interim may be continued. Okay. Item one, interim order passed earlier, shall continue okay. till the next date of listing. Hmm? Please, Your Lordship, I beg to mention item number eight. Item number eight. 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 Yes. Uh, I'm yet to file my reply, so three weeks time may be given. You are for government? Petitioner. Petitioner to file reply if it is. Reply if it is, petitioner, three weeks. <coughs> may I please, Lord? Mm. Lord, I beg to mention hearing item number 21. Item number? 21. I pray that the matter may come after two weeks. For the petitioner? Yes, ma'am. Petitioner, two weeks. What's if I have similar prayer for item number 22? 
that was the only left <laughs> for hearing 22. That's it. And I beg to mention item number nine also. I have received the FADV in opposition filed by the government. After uh, 22, after? Uh, two weeks. Only. Two weeks. Okay. Item number nine, Lord Sip, uh, three weeks' time may be granted to file a FADV in re reply. In reply, the... three weeks by the petition. Nine. Deeply obliged me. Yes, what's about the bail? Only 15 and 16. Item number 15 and 16 left. Anybody for 15 and 16? Yes, why item number 15 is there? I could have passed all these orders sitting in the residence <laughs> if you would have given a sleep yesterday. Uh, As why this matter is listed? Your Honor, uh, I have instructions to appear on behalf of respondent number two in this matter. Mm. So I may be allowed two weeks' time, Your Honor. Uh, she compromise. Yes, mm -hmm. Lord, she yes, compromise. You are for Respo of the private respondents. Respond number. Is it is it the com uh, compromise is done? Is it correct? Yes, yes Lord. We could have disposed it of. So we'll be filing an affidavit. Filing an affidavit. Yes. Okay. Uh, the matter pertains to uh, the petition is in this present petition is an application under section 482 for quashing a criminal proceeding proceeding on the basis of the compromise arrived at by the parties. Lord, full stop. The respond the learned counsel for the respondent number two submits that he would like to file an affidavit uh, incorporating such com compromise. Full stop. Accordingly, in press for three weeks and time. is granted three weeks time. Oh, so an interim. Can you uh, continue? Lord? Prayer is allowed. The interim order passed earlier shall continue until further orders. Yes. For orders, item number sixteen. Yes. May I please, Lordship. Lordship, this contempt has been filed uh, since uh, November 2023, Lordship. Mm. And we issued notice uh, to the respondent. Uh, Where is the order? Uh, Lordship, there. The first order is on 30 11 23, Lordship. That was the first notice. And Lordship, again, we issued notice on 21 3 2024, Lordship, uh, last week. And we have served the. Uh, on last occasion, Lordship, we sought for Dusty Lordship. And on 28.3, we have already served the copies. That is, we have also filed in compliance. Uh, we have filed the affidavit in compliance to that Lordship on the 1st of April. Just a minute. Where is the, what was the direction issued earlier? Uh, Lordship, the direction was... Uh, what was your grievance? Payment of salary? Uh, no, for uh, reappointing the petitioner Lordship. The, the order is... Extension of service, medical yes, attendant. Lordship. It's at page 16, Lordship. Uh, page? 16, that is the okay. order in Lordship. Okay, now who is to allow you to continue? Mm -hmm. uh, Lordship, the... It is, direction is given to the... No, but direction is given, but who will comply with this order? Lordship, it is the, the respondent number one to Lordship. Yes, who appears for respond number one and two? Uh, uh, till date, Lordship. No one has appeared. That is, but that, if it, if it, this is a fit if it as regards to the compliance of or to the effect of the state service, Lordship. This department, which department? The department is Health and Family Welfare, Lordship. Health and Family. Anybody from government here? Um, no, Lordship. <laughs> Lordship, unless we receive instruction, we don't appear in the content petition. But you don't appear, but we can ask you to appear. When we see that there is a violation of court's order, instead of calling the person to appear, Lordship. we can first we'll give a chance to a state council. Okay, we can request you Lordship. because ultimately. Uh, ultimately, otherwise, today we have no option but to issue a warrant against mm -hmm. an officer. Notice is duly served, does the if he's filed. So it's a contempt proceeding, we'll uh, issue a warrant of arrest and call him. 
So we do not want to do straight away that. So therefore, we are requesting you and listing this matter on Monday. Let it be after a week, Your Lordship. No, you have the telephonic instruction, Lordship, whether they have the... they have received or not. Otherwise, we will ask the commission principal secretary to, to to issue a warrant against principal secretary. So that will not look good it at this stage because we are not aware Lordship. whether exactly this has been served, not served. Lordship. Lordship. Okay, Lordship. and it's a contempt. But today we have no option but to do that, Lordship. and to avoid that situation, we are requesting you. At least to huh. see you, uh, on the last day of the court. Next okay, the Wednesday. 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 I'll give an attempt. Okay, the present application is filed alleging willful and deliberate violation of order dated 24 4 2023 in writ petition civil number 250 slick says 2021 passed by this court. Notice to the LA's contemnor were issued by this court under its order dated where is the order? 6-12-2022 the first one was 30 11 2022 Uh, you should notice people under its order dated 30 11 2023. Uh, subsequently, the petitioner was permitted to take fresh steps through the sti upon the respondents by an order dated 21 3 2024. Uh, the petitioner has also filed an affidavit in compliance of such uh, affidavit in proof of effecting the dusty the service. Perusal of the, uh, along with the affidavit, the original copies of return notice are also an which discloses that the principal secretary department of health and uh, the, uh, discloses that the principal the respondents have duly received such notice uh, however when the matter is called today the said respond the, the ls contemnor have not entered appearance either personally or through engaging any counsel. Full stop. In view of the aforesaid, this court with left with no option but to issue a warrant of arrest against the aforesaid respondents. However, to ascertain whether they have duly received the notice and whether they have, have um, um, willfully has not entered appearance even after receipt of notice comma this court has requested ms as mary as mary uh, learned state council to obtain instruction from the principal secretary and swenso swenso in this regard the Learned State Council has readily accepted such request. Accordingly, lest this matter be listed on Tuesday, Tuesday that is Swenzo Swenzo, for instruction. On said date, on the depending upon the instruction, this court will pass further orders. This is the way, you know, otherwise we don't have any option. We do not want to create a situation, but you intimate your officers as an individual they are not your clients but as an office just Lord intimate Jesus. them what is their response for unlisted motion bail application five of the may you please lord yes my lord uh, this is a statutory application under 167 two of crpc red weight 
36F4 of NDTS Act, praying for release of the accused person Where is on, the, on default bail. Where is the application? Where is the uh, FIR? My Lord, I'll take Lordship to page 13. Yes, page 13. Correct, my Lord, page 13. May I read it, my Lord? Okay, now when you were arrested? My Lord, my Lord, the, the short fact, Lordship comes to page 3. I'll just narrate short facts, short mm -hmm. facts only. Yes. Whereas I'll just show low, low point. Mm -hmm. Paragraph 1, my Lord. Mm -hmm. That page three, mm. that the present petitioner is the younger brother of accused Mr. Refolo, who has been in judicial custody at Kohima District Jail, Kohima, Nagaland. The petitioner backs to state that the accused was arrested on 26 9, 2023, by police personnel from his private residence, Pesama New Reserve, Kohima. The allegation being that some banned heroin, approximately 370 grams was recovered from his residence on 26 9 2023 at around 8 20 pm accordingly a sumoto complaint was lodged to the official in charge narcotic cell ps phq kohima nagaland on 26 9 23 by ubi bandung zealand narcotic cell ps phq kohima nagaland that based on such complaint the narcotic ps case number 18 of 23 under section 21c 20 slash 27A of NDPS. What is the quantity? 370 grams. It is intermediate commercial. It, little above intermediate. So what will be the period? The period 10 years and above. No, no. What will be the uh, period for 180 it? days. 180 days. Mandatory period is 180 days. No such is filed. Nothing. Yes, I'm madam. Correct. It is apparent that uh, an application for extension of time for further investigation. When, if, when it is first filed uh, extension. You, know, uh, your you have instruction to... on Monday we are taking it up. Your See, suppose we held that this man is yeah. without uh, sarsit inside. Every day is an illegal detention. Illegal detention, that's what I pointed Every out. Every day that's is an illegal detention. So, therefore, we will have it's from which place? From Kohim. Only Kohim I hear. You say? My Lord, uh, if Lordship allow me to. No, no, see, this is an NDPS. My Lord. It is a more than intermediate, uh, little, I maybe little, more than intermediate. And the mandate of the act is also that after hearing the PP, we can we should consider. So we have heard you. We are satisfied on your argument that apparently, if no affidavit, no such seat is filed, uh, period is over. Now, therefore, she want to raise a question that there is a filing pending an application. Correct. Now, what will be the impact of that pendency? Whether that pendency will give a no. letter address? Right. No, that we know that. But the mandate of NDPS is that to hear the people. My Lord. That's why we are fixing it on Tuesday. My Lord. Just you will have an instruction Lord. when it was filed and whether in the meantime any sarsit has been filed. And if sarsit is filed. My Lord, make it Monday. I have few cases fixed in district court. Okay. Monday. That will be very grateful, my Lord. Monday. I have no problem Lord, Monday. That IA is fixed for hearing on 9. 9. From extension of time. 9th of April. 9th is uh, Tuesday. 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 Now, therefore, before that, let us decide whether the filing of an extension automatically will extend that period or whether, suppose, if time is already over, extension should be given within the period. Second question should be, can extension be granted when expiry period is expired? My Lord, I have a letter judgment by the... We know that. See. We are giving a chance to no problem. Lordship. Just pass by the present CJ. Huh. No problem. You have the judgment. <laughs> we'll pass an order. No issue. Monday. Tuesday. Monday. I have few cases. Okay. Next. Monday. That much. You have a telephonic instruction. You said because see, if we, we can pass this order today also, yes. but this is not in against the principle of NDPS Act. Hearing will mean an effect. You are not the authority. Yes. You are the yes. council. Yes. So you must have some instruction yes. Yes. with your client. That will be an effective hearing. As far as the question of whether the application praying for extension of time is during that pending, whether bell can be heard or not, the present CJ has decided. No, that is, we know that, but you have that judgment. And so this, these are the issues. Lord okay. Lord 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 Lord. Admittedly, if it is not done within a prescribed period, mm -hmm. then what is will be the effect of filing an application? Application, we do not know the date. 
it is also be decided whether application is filed prior to the expiry of debt and if it is filed if it is not extended it will be on whose fault and what will be the consequences this is to, you will have to address let this this matter please my lord uh, i'll be fair mm. i have said this here mm. the accused mm. the petition present petitioner is the brother young brother he mm. approached the court session court on second mm. of this month mm. then on the same day bail was rejected mm. so for which we have filed this okay uh, uh, the present application is filed under swenso swenso basically primarily on the ground that that during the statutory period mandated under section 167 167 crpc read with crpc read with 36a of 36a NDPS. of the ndps act, act. The investigation was not completed, and accordingly, the petitioner is entitled for default bail. Much more. First of all, uh, learned additional public uh, you are PP, PP learned PP, PP uh, submits that she may be granted time till Monday to obtain instruction as regards whether any extension has been extension for uh, period of investigation has been filed, uh, filed, and if if so, what is the fate of that application? That's why I was insisting she be hard. <laughs> That's why I said Mother. before we rise, bring the my Oh, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go